Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. Welcome to Mastering Publisher Made Easy. What we see here is the initial screen view when you open a new publication in Publisher 2010. A publication is the default object in Publisher. Within the publication, you create and modify individual pages that will constitute the publication. The pages within a publication contain multiple text and graphic objects which create the contents displayed in the individual publication pages. When you close a publication, Publisher will prompt you to save unsaved changes in any open publications that you're working on before closing. In the following lessons within this chapter, we'll examine and discuss the elements of the Publisher environment. For users who are new to the Publisher program, you should first familiarize yourself with the various tools and elements within the program's environment before attempting to create your publication. When you initially start the Publisher application, you'll be presented with a listing of available document templates. You'll see those right here in the center. Now we'll explore using these templates in more detail in the next chapter. For now, simply select the standard blank 8.5 by 11 choice right here by giving it a click so that we can inspect the working environment of the program. After you've clicked on a template selection as we just did, you'll see the main workspace of the publisher environment. This is where you'll spend the majority of your time designing your publications. In the publisher environment, the publication pages appear within the application frame. The application frame consists of the title bar, the ribbon, the status bar, and the publication pages. The first object that we'll point out is called the ribbon at the top of the application window. That's right here. And this tool is where you can find all of the tabs, groups, and commands available for use within the program. For upgrading users of Publisher, you'll find that the ribbon both replaces and combines the older menu bar and the various toolbars, like the standard toolbar and the formatting toolbar, that you have been using. For users upgrading from Publisher 2007, you'll find that the Microsoft Office button has now been replaced by the new File tab within the ribbon, located right here. Clicking this tab allows you to access what's called the Backstage view shared by Microsoft Office 2010 products. In the Backstage view, you'll find the most common file management commands, such as creating a new publication, saving publications, and printing. Above the ribbon is the Quick Access toolbar that's located right up here and you can easily add buttons to this toolbar for the commands that you most frequently use and wish to always have available. You'll notice several important buttons are already set here. We have Save, we have Undo, and we have Redo. You can also easily remove buttons that you've added to this toolbar as well. Of course, at the top of the window, you'll see the name of the current publication that you have open, and this will appear to the right of the Quick Access Toolbar in an area known as the Title Bar, right here, which is called Publication 1 right now. Below all of the tools, the current publication is displayed, right here. And this is where you create the actual pages in the publication. Most of the actual work in Publisher will be done in this area. To the left of the publication page, you'll see the new Page Navigation pane, right here. And as you add pages to your publication, a thumbnail icon of each page added will appear as a numbered page within this pane. You can then scroll through the listing of pages as they accumulate, and then click on one to select it. The page that you select will then appear in the Publication page area over to the right for editing. At the right and bottom sides of the publication, you'll see the scroll bars, and you can use the vertical scroll bar to scroll the currently selected page up and down. 
and you can use the horizontal scroll bar to scroll the currently selected page left and right. You can easily zoom in to increase the magnification or zoom out to decrease the magnification using what's called the zoom slider that appears in the lower right corner of the window. Located right here, you just click and drag like that. Also, to the left of that, you can see the various page layout view buttons that allow you to switch the number of pages displayed on screen as needed. Located right here. Now that we have an overview of the major on-screen elements, where they're located by default, and what they're called, we can now look at the general use and functionality of the various on-screen elements within the Publisher application. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.